Hey, we're glad to be here with you today. It's uh, Wednesday. I forgot what day of the week it was for November a minute. November 4th. Yes, Music and Devotions with Ron and Rachel. So we're glad to be here with you. And I'm going to light our candle to remind us that God is always with us. Okay. You good? Is it yeah. in your way? No. Okay. Well, Joel Hogan, if you're out there, you uh, gave me this guitar. It was... Did you restring it? Uh, yeah. Cool. Oh. Yeah. Um, it was... Your grandson's? I, I'm not really sure the story. Okay, it was your somebody's. somebody's that was going to be put in a garage sale, and you caught it and saved the day <laughs> and bought it for me. And so, I uh, thank you for that, and we will hear its music today. Here we go. Uh, you can sing along. It's number 408 in your hymnal, Gift of Love. Though I may speak, And have the gift to all inspire, but have not love. My words are vain as sounding grass, and hopeless fame. I may give all I possess and striving so my love profess but not be Spirit come, our hearts control, our spirit longs to be made whole, let in words Oh, Lord. 
There was a... I got to tell you something. My mother had this song we always sang around the campfire, and I can't remember, but it had a couple verses she made up, and you'll know what it is. And, and if you get there before I do, drill a hole and, and pull, pull me, me through. through. But no, but she would say, I'll drill a hole and spit on you. <laughs> she wasn't very nice. She thought that was funny. Um, I had a friend named Louise Simpson. She was uh, from Alex City in the Alex City First Church down there. I was there four great years. And um, we did a, a tribute to our older adults and we would interview them and then we would bring them to the church that night and show the interview and then let them tell their stories and bring their pictures or whatever, kind of like this is your night. And uh, and then we'd, you know, we'd celebrate them and clap and have a cake and all that. Just a great way to celebrate our senior citizens. And, uh, and she, she was uh, 96 when uh, we celebrated her life. She died at 98, but when I went to get her, uh, she said, you know, driving out there, she said, you know, Brother Ron, um, I need to hurry up and die. And I said, well, why do you need to die, Louise? And she said, because all my other friends are dead, and they're all up in heaven, and they think I've gone to hell. <laughs> So, as sad as I was the day she died, boy, I thought, she can stop worrying now. <laughs> okay, wait. He's saying, Reverend Dr. Rachel, time for a solo on the birthday gift. Can you see it in the picture? That's what a, it's sitting right here, and I, I didn't think they could oh, see well, it. Oh, well, they can see it. Well, okay. it is time for a solo on the birthday gift. Is that what you want me to do now? Uh -huh. Okay, well, we'll see how it sounds. I have to warn you, there's one note that's just not going to sound good because it's not... Don't apologize. There's not a note on here. I know. Okay, go ahead. There's not, a, there's not an F sharp and so it, or F flat. So I don't know which it is. I can't say it. Okay, I'm afraid I'm going to put the music on. I have to use music. There's not an F flat. Okay, then it's F sharp. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. we got to move this or I'll catch myself on fire. I was going to tell you what note it is. Okay, I'm nervous now. Where'd my mallets go? Okay, y'all can figure out what song I'm playing. I haven't done it with my contacts in. That's okay, now I'm really nervous. You ready? <laughs> That is my solo. <laughs> cool. Judy pulls on it. Oh, she said, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness. <laughs> Even with my bad notes. There was you one really it. bad note, but the rest of them I messed up. Huh. 
All right, well, let us, let us pray. Lord, thank you for Rachel and for her gift of music that she is learning and that she is sharing with us and continue to lead her on and guide her. Thank you for our day of beauty here and, uh, and creation and the gifts that, that come when you bless a day with sunshine and a little warmth and the great things that, that go along with the earth. Help us take care of the earth. Lord, help us take care of each other. And as we continue to fight the coronavirus, let us continue to work and research and do the things necessary in order for us to tackle this virus together. Help us, O oh God, to be the kind of people you want us to be. Help us in this time of unknown within our elections and within our nation. And fill our hearts with unity. Fill our church with unity. We thank you for our bishop. We thank you for our district superintendent, Rick. We thank you for our brothers and sisters who are uh, older in the faith and mature in the faith and who are just beginning. Bless us all in our journey and help us to hold together no matter what the church may face. Be with us this day. Thank you for new gifts and bless Joel and Sylvia Hogan. Fill us now with hope and peace. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. I think there's a TV on. Can you go close that door? Right here. Okay. I'll be right back. <laughs> wow. It is closed. Okay. Can you hear it? Sorry, there's a TV on in another part of the house. I can't go turn it off. <laughs> I, was just, I was just about to tell you one of my better jokes. No, I'm back. She no saved, jokes. She saved me. I saved you. Okay, so I shared this book with y'all before. Praying. I know you can't read it. It's backwards. Praying with the body, bringing the Psalms to life. But I don't think we'll act out the Psalm. I thought about it. Unless you want to do it. I think I'll just share with you some of the reading. Because... When I thought about what to share today, I realized I needed a little calm in my life now. I think a lot of us are, are sitting on pins and needles about what's happening and um, what the final results of all the elections are going to be, how it will all go. And I was looking for a meditation to help us. I was gonna, uh, and there is a little guided meditation I'm gonna do, but I wanna read you when I found this, I didn't know this was part of it. This is a holy reading from Psalm 34, verses four and five, and then 11 through 14. I sought the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from all my fears. Look to him and be radiant so your faces shall never be ashamed. Come, O children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Which of you desires life and covets many days to enjoy good? Keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And here's the meditation. So I invite you, um, if you're in a safe place where you can close your eyes, to close your eyes and just uh, follow along. So sit quietly. Be still in body and mind. Take a big inhale, and as you exhale, relax the muscles of your face. Relax the area around your eyes, your forehead muscles. Lift up the corners of your mouth slightly so that you smile. See yourself 
as a child again. Held with love by God. Feel the quiet and relaxing energy that radiates from the peaceful one. Absorb God's calmness and peacefulness as you inhale. And on every exhale, find yourself feeling calmer and more at peace. Today, for the rest of the day, I invite you to talk less. If there's a need to say something, ask yourself these questions before you speak. Is it accurate? Is it needed? Is it loving? And does it glorify God? Most radiant one, O magnificent God, your compassionate light delivers me from the darkness of fear and anxiety. I look to your face beaming like the sun, and joy and gladness fill my heart. Your voice of truth and goodness casts away deceit and corruption. May all seek and know your peace. In Jesus' name, amen. So I hope you can find a little peace and uh, a little less anxiety for the rest of today. What I thought was interesting about that was the, the linking of being careful what you say to being more peaceful. <laughs> Perhaps that's what uh, peacemaking is about. Do you need some help? Uh, mm -hmm. What are you looking for? The freedom feeling. You're not in the right yeah, index. Yeah, I know, I know. Just keep, just keep going. <laughs> okay, so. <laughs> Ron's looking for Freely Freely, so we can sing that out of the hymnal. Um, I think it's 408. No, that's Is that what we just sang? <laughs> okay, that's not what it is. Um, Sorry, I was going to sing something else, but this is he more, changed his this mind. Is more fitting. Okay. Well, let's see. I saw uh, 389. Sarah and Judy, I think Bonnie's on, and Sarah. So. 389. 389. Okay. We'll remember that for next time. You're looking for it. Got it. Okay. Okay. That's close to 408. Close. <laughs> God forgave my sin in Jesus' name. I've been born again in Jesus' name. He 
God, we pray for those meditating moments. We pray for the times when we want you near with us so that we may hear you and so that we may learn from you and follow you. So please forgive us, please guide us, and please empower us to be your people. Amen. Amen. So glad you guys were here. And we have a church council meeting at 7. It's a hybrid meeting. So if you're... <laughs> you can either Zoom in or you can come to the church and be there at 7. Uh, if you need the Zoom link, just send me an email and I'll send it to you. If you don't, it, it was sent in an email last week, but if you need it, let me know. Uh, and church is at 1030 Sunday. So good to see you guys. Have a good week. Blessings. We have CR tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Hope to see you there.